What's up, Fairy Sharks? My name is Jenna Coles. I am a freshman at Logan County High School and a proud member of the Logan County FFA. Growing up on a farm, I have always had a connection to food, whether it be raising beef cattle, raising chickens, or growing fruits and vegetables in the garden. I've also known that I always wanted to be involved in the FFA, but I thought my SAE was going to be about my beef cattle until one day I brought my advisor, one of my muffins, and he told me that my SAE could be about my baking business, Jenna's Kitchen which I thought was a great idea because it had everything I love to do. Promoting agriculture, creating new recipes, interacting with people, and baking. So my SAE is two parts, beef cattle entrepreneurship and agribusiness. I hope to take my current baking business from taking custom orders to increasing my product offering and sales through the farmer's market. I've always loved to cook and having fresh ingredients from the farm has always made it easy to plan and cook farm fresh meals. But I wanted to share my love of cooking with others. So when I was 10, I convinced my parents to let me have a YouTube channel where I would demonstrate recipes and helpful culinary tips. I post videos every Saturday for my 1,280 subscribers to watch. My YouTube channel has also given me a learning experience by being on the Food Network show Chop Junior. The casting company reached out to me after watching my meatloaf video and the next thing I know, I'm in New York City competing on the show with a farm foam theme, which was perfect for me. I even got to share some of my farm experiences with the producers because they did not have a connection to the farm like I did. While on this trip, I knew that I wanted to teach people about agriculture and share my farm experiences. Being on the show gave me an opportunity to sell muffins and scones at a local coffee shop. They reached out to me on my Facebook page since I had been posting about all the things I was making and the videos I was posting on my YouTube channel. In addition to Facebook and YouTube, I also post on my Instagram about the farm and what I've been cooking up lately. But the popularity of those baked goods has led to other people requesting custom bakery style orders. For example, I recently made a cupcake race car cake for a two year old's birthday party. And there is nothing wrong with taking custom orders. I like to do that. But I want to expand my selling horizons by selling at the market. I would like to sell at the farmer's market because I love to talk to people and engage with people. And this would be a great chance to promote agriculture and some of the things that I would be selling at the market would be jams, muffins, scones, cookies, and bread. In my concerted cash flow projections, my project can be profitable in the first year of business. My long-term goal for my SAE will be to develop a cookbook. The cookbook, Cooking Through the Seasons, will have recipes based on what season the product is grown in and when you can purchase it. It will also highlight local Kentucky Pride farmers and the product that they raise. The cookbook will have color filled pages, step by step instructions, and photos of the food. Many customers say they do not cook with local farm products because, one, they don't know where to get them, two, they don't know how to cook them. This book solves your dilemma. It will also be interactive. Now, are you asking yourself, how can a cookbook be interactive? Well, each recipe will have its own video on my channel so visual learners can go watch the video, watch how I cook it, and if they have questions, they can put them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as possible. But in order for this to happen, I have to develop the cookbook first. With your investment, I can make all these things happen at a much faster rate than I had planned. I will be able to put $1,000 towards advancing my kitchen equipment to be farmer's market ready by buying a professional stand mixer, buying storage containers for my ingredients and displays for the product. These would be investments that I would be able to use throughout all of my baking years. The remaining $4,000 would go towards developing my cookbook. Over the years, I have developed 50 recipes utilizing my home garden, orchard, beef, and poultry products. I still have to develop at least 50 more recipes to complete the cookbook. This grant will allow me to develop those recipes faster. I will be able to purchase product from other local farmers to highlight their farm and what they raise. In recipe development, you cannot only just develop the recipe. You have to test it. You have to perfect it to its finest. You have to shoot the video for it for the interactive cookbook, and you have to make it one more time for the photo. Once the recipes are developed, I would have to hire someone to take the photos of the final product to put in the cookbook. And wouldn't it be cool if I could enlist a fellow FFA member with a photography SAE to take the photos? After we have the photos, we have to put it all together. The layout and design is going to be the thing that makes people want to buy this cookbook because how many times have you flipped through a cookbook and put it right back down because it didn't look appealing? That's not what we want to accomplish. I want people to pick up this cookbook and be drawn to it and its pages. Finally, I will take the money that I make at the farmer's market 
and invest it into publishing the cookbook before I graduate high school. This is a multi-year project that I hope to continue to improve every year. My goals will be to create great food for people to enjoy because food brings everyone together, promote ag products and the farmers who raise them, and Kentucky agriculture through food and an interactive cookbook. My project exemplifies the fifth paragraph of the FFA Creed that reads, I believe that American agriculture can and will hold true to the best traditions of our national life and that I can exert an influence on my home and community which will stand solid in my part for that inspiring task. An investment in me as an investment in the future of agriculture. Thank you for your consideration. I hope to hear from you soon and always remember, life is what you make it.